What's going on traders? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at the trades that I made on the day. I'm going to be finishing up the day at about $1,200 profit. So let's run you guys through the trades. <clears throat> so first trade on the day was a short on Roku. Got about, I think I got about 400 bucks on it. So I got short 1,000 shares here at $98.62. Covered up those first thousand shares at $98.14. So these red dotted lines here were just a, a clean level from yesterday where I could anticipate if we broke down, there'd be a quick little spike down. So ended up getting short for a little quick breakdown, early morning panic wash. Made about 400 bucks. Then as it kind of pops back up, you can see that it retests that red level line I have and the VWAP. So I end up getting short again, 1,000 shares at $98.25, covering up 700 shares at $97.36, 200 more shares here at $96.80, yep. And then I left 50 shares on anticipating we'd end up kind of rolling over later in the day. So I went to take another short. So I added to the 50 shares I left on. So I had a thousand shares short here on this green candle. Um, so got short at 97.30, then got squeezed out and took those 1,050 shares off at 97.63. I was anticipating this move down. So I was just a little bit early on that trade, uh, but it would have ended up being another really nice trade there. So all in all, traded pretty well on Roku today and finishing the day up 1,200 bucks on Roku. Um, also traded Nerve. So I'll show you this one, N-E-R-V, so Nerve. We got short. Um, so Nerve, this 300 shares was actually kind of just testing the water to see if they still had shorts available on Thinkorswim, which they did. So I got short 300 shares. Uh, tried to get short 2,500 shares on this candle as well. Couldn't get filled. The market makers just weren't wanting to fill me. So they, again, weren't filling me. Uh, they tried to move the price down in which they would have then filled me at a lower price. I said, no, no, no. So I canceled that order. Uh, but all in all, ended up being short 300 shares at $5.56, covered up 300 shares at $5.47 for a total of $28. <clears throat> all right, then I had a trade on uh, ACB. So this was a fun trade. So ACB I traded. Uh, this one was a Fibonacci trade, so I guess I can show you that real fast. So this one was a Fib trade. Uh, here we go. So from the high, boom, boom pretty go right here. Uh, so anyways, we have a nice uh, impulsive move up on ACB, pulls back down to uh, 755, end up getting long 2,500 shares at 756. Pops up, take 2,000 shares off at 759, had 500 shares, I was willing to hold to about 769, then we ended up getting <clears throat> this kind of pullback, I could tell it was kind of fade on us, so I ended up taking those 500 shares off at 761 for a total of $89. <clears throat> and then the last trade was on Tesla. Uh, so Tesla, I was playing for a long play, see if we could kind of squeeze up out of this wedge, which we did briefly, but then we started coming back down and realized it wasn't gonna work. So we have this kind of little wedge development here. We started breaking to the upside on it, so I got long 300 shares at 223.89, uh, kind of false break out there, could feel it wasn't gonna happen, so I took those shares off instantly at 223.64 for a loss of 75 bucks. So all those trades, all in all, gets us up to a PNL of $1,256 on the day. So, you know, a couple good trades in there. Real big winner on the day was Roku. Um, calling it a day here, finished trading at about 10.30 with $1,200 in my pocket, so can't complain. After commission was probably more, it was 12.50, but after commission's probably like, uh, probably more or less, you know, 1,200 or so, um, one second. So there's a PL, 1,200 bucks on the day, uh, 12.50, so after, you know, commission, probably like a $1,200 day. So nonetheless, another good green day, solid, keeping them in the books, like it. Going to be moving on till tomorrow. Hopefully we can keep pressing those green days. Um, as always, thank you guys again for tuning in and watching in on the videos. I hope you guys learn something new as always from these recaps. And if you guys ever want to join into our trading room so you can watch these live, you can follow along and learn within our community. 
It'll be one of the first links in the description of the video. We have free Facebook groups, chat rooms, pretty much you name it, we have it. Check out the description of the video and I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.